Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be entering the World of Order with a brand new deck that I am not confident or happy about. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and get in there. For this trial, you must deal with a deck limited to fairy-type monsters. Okay, I will take your test. I hope you do well. Dude, I, you don't even know what I have in my hand. It's gonna, it's gonna be garbage. Alright, I got... Ah, crap. Yeah, my deck is called Forced Fairy because I'm forced to use this fairy deck even though I barely own any fairy monsters in general. So, we're gonna do our absolute best today. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. I had to put this in my deck. I'm not even joking. Um, if you die, we lose. <laughs> if this monster dies, we officially lose the fight. Okay, let's just hope for the best here. Good, that works for both of us. I'm sure it'll be working for their deck more than mine. Well, we lose. <laughs> I don't. That was one of my best fairies that I just drew, that I happen to have in my deck. Even though I'm wide open, they decide not to attack me. Aren't they just interesting? I draw. It's a good trap, but it's probably not going to help me here. Um, no matter what I summon... Oh, you monster. Alright, it's just a little Hoshin again. Are you just doing this to tribute summon? Is that why? They're going to tribute summon. Watch this stuff. Nope, just a battle for Artemis. I could take 16. I'm not afraid of 1600 damage. I am afraid of more counter traps, though, giving them draw power, because right now their hand is the only thing I like. The fact that they only have one card means they've used up a lot of options. Heavy Storm? I don't really need to use that right now. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, I'm buffing my opponent, so they're at 21, so 800 wouldn't do it. But with an extra 700, we got them. So let's go ahead and just do this. Ah, there it is. Alright, Dark Bribe. Well, I lost one of my best cards, and my opponent also got to draw a card, which I do not like. Crap. And without that buff, I can't beat the opponent anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hope for my opponent to Tribute Summon. And if they Tribute Summon, I have a chance. If they do not Tribute Summon, we are going to die. Because everything has not been working out so far. It seems like we're going up against a Counter Trap deck. Alright, Phoenix Wind Blast is the only move I got right now, so we're going to do it. Wing Kariba level 10, get out of here. Uh, yeah, you got to draw that. Oh boy, I'm not feeling good about this duel. I should be a little more positive, but the reality is I'm not feeling good. Light Forsworn, they're really just trying to stop me from playing the game, aren't they? I draw, God says no, that's always a fun card. Uh, my hands, I needed that beater monster from earlier, because my hand ain't so good. Um, let's trust you to kill this monster. Hey, it worked! Good job, Freya. I'm proud of you. I love that she, she's a great animation in this game. Wow. That's perfect. Good job, guys. So Shinigan's a little blurry, but she wasn't blurry, so yeah. And there's a card that I'm not going to be happy about. And I can barely deal with it, actually. So, yeah, we probably just should. Look, I'm not going to have many options. We got we to gotta do what we got to do with what we got. Okay, we banish that card, we beat Banisher of Light. As long as my opponent plays aggressively, we're in the lead. If they play defensively, then we're going to die in front of them. Yay, aggressive! <laughs> I'll pay everything. I'll give you my wife's salary. Alright, traps now. Come on, traps. Yeah. Alright, monster. Yay, there we go. Make him freaking this deck work. Here we go. 2700 attack from all the buffs we're getting. Granted, my opponent will also enjoy these buffs, so it's not like it matters. But, because we cleared up everything, as long as my opponent plays defensively like a coward, we'll be okay. Yeah, go Freya! Go Freya! Cheer us on! We can do this! Even you have a thousand attack at this point, you used to only have a hundred. Shit. I'm taking advantage of my monster. Shining Angel's so good, it's going to be annoying. Ah, crap. I don't like this. 
I like this. <laughs> Changes my tune immediately. Yeah, I like this card. Um, Majestic Mech would not end the duel. Because they'll just keep getting Shining Angels out. Or possibly worse. <sighs> Sorry, Freya. Since I know it's not going to end the duel, we're going to do this. But, I'm going to get them low enough to... I, I do not like my current play, what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it anyway. Just because I want them to pay. I want them to pay the price. Yeah, Sanctuary in the Sky is gone. I assume they have one in their hand, to be honest, because why else would they not be setting or using any other card effect? Right now... Oh! They didn't have a monster. I was expecting a bunch of Shining Angels. What the hell just happened? Okay, well, now they don't have enough life points to activate Premature Burial or Brain Control or anything, so... That feels kind of good. The problem is I used Heavy Storm. Not realizing that they wouldn't have any backup. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, this top deck means a lot. Okay. We are going for game. Let's see if we get lucky. The only reason they wouldn't Shining Angel is if they had an Earth Shining Angel in their hand. Yep. Oh, good job, me. Good job, Brain. You kicked in at the last second there, didn't you? <laughs> Just in case. Oh, all they could pick is Freya anyway. So, yep, we're going in there. Okay. We win. Well, that was a desperate duel, but we managed to win, so we get $500. This forced fairy deck was not fun, but we had to do it. You have proven you are worthy enough to pass through this gate. Now you may advance. Oh no, this is terrible. We dropped it. This is just awful. We lost it. This is big trouble. We were supposed to deliver something really important to Lord Parshath. It's a really special gift, but we dropped it. Traveler, can you help us? If you find it, please let us know. The name of the card is Nova Summoner. I'd love that card. It's really important we deliver it. Please help. We'd be so grateful. Look, I need a Nova Summoner myself, so don't you dare pretend like... I'm just going to help you. Is it this star? Is this Nova Summoner? No. Well, we got two new opponents, and yeah, we have this Force Fairy deck. You, what kind of person are you? You're not going to try anything funny, are you? No? I'm here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. That's that's just strange. We're, we're here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I admit my deck name is a little awkward, but it's only because I was forced to use this deck. Alright, Shining Bright. I probably don't have to use it anymore, but I'm going to. I didn't spend all that time putting it together to not use it. Alright. Hey, that's the guy, the other guy they want me to fight. He's right there. We're gonna set a maiden. We're gonna have a nice trap card with my Wing Kariba level 10 ready to work together. And we're gonna see what kind of play she makes. Sanctuary in the sky? Yeah, no one no one, like no one saw that coming, come on. Everybody saw that coming. So now I can't even damage you. You see, the problem is, I don't like that. I, I mean, you're just going to draw it anyway, but I can't beat that. I can't beat Shining Angel. And unless I get Freya, it's not happening. Alright, I draw Enemy Controller. I could beat Shining Angel, but now it'll just turn into something else. So what's the point in beating it? Hmm. Healing myself? No. That's not worth it. Okay. Let's do an overly aggressive play. I'm going to use this card. I, overly aggressive worked last time, so I'm just going to go for it. It turns out you are going to do that. I'm going to play Hoshin again. And I know that buffs you as well, but who cares? Uh, no, we're not using your effect. We're just going all in. And we're just going to start punching people. Yep. This is my life now. The life of punching person. All right, there we go. Then I'm gonna set this card real quick. And I will make a decision on what to do with that card later. I could enemy control to save a monster, but they'll just search, or I could steal a monster. We already knew that was gonna be the play. Hoshinigan is the target. Oh, interesting. Hoshinigan was not the target. I was uh, expecting a little bit different than that. Okay. I draw Wadapon. No, nope, I need to draw that specially for it to matter. Um, I could enemy controller for fun. 
<laughs> and then be at a huge disadvantage. I'm already at a disadvantage, though. I don't need to heal. I have no tribute monster. The most damage I could do this turn is 2,900. And then after that, I'm at a huge disadvantage, so what's the point? Let's hope they tribute some and then we'll really think of a plan, because right now I have none. Okay, well, actually. Oh, I like this. Oh, I'm liking it a little more now. Well, hi there. Okay, now I'm not liking it anymore. Shit. Ah, crap. I didn't want them to get extra stuff. Now I don't have a field to tribute. Soul of Purity and Light's gonna give me trouble. Yeah, just destroy it. Okay, a little unlucky that they had everything. If they didn't get rid of another monster to get Neo Parshaft, we would have been fine, but things don't work out that way. So let's uh, let's think of a new plan. Harvest, yeah, all right. Harvest is good, but it's too late. Harvest would have been better earlier. All right, Royal Knight, I'm gonna summon you. I activate enemy controller. I'm going to gain control of an opponent's monster. So, how much attack do you have? 23? You have 2,000? What's your effect? Perfect. That's exactly what I needed to see. Okay. We have a storm. Oh! I'm glad I did that. <laughs> and now you should make me lose 300 attack points. And yay! I can do exactly what I need to do. And just like that, we're back in. As long as they don't have a second Soul of Purity and Light. And now it's up to beater monsters, and mine happens to be better. Just automatically. So, let's see what you got. Shit. Shit. Ah, oh, man. You've already shown you got good traps, so I did not want to see another one. I have a good trap as well, but the odds of me being able to summon it, or use it, is going to be low. Alright, Angel of Wisdom, do your best. Oh, interesting. Well, if you draw a tribute monster, I'll be a little upset. Here, have a set card. Maybe I'll draw Freya, though. Freya would buff me. Alright, let's see. God damn it. Why can't you draw Sanctuary in the Sky or something? Oh, okay, there we go. Hopefully this works and they don't just activate him. They drew MST, didn't they? No. Okay, good. I didn't want to lose my... I, I mean, Magic Jammer's not that scary, but hey. There we go. Oh, look, it's Freya. Hi, Freya. <laughs> Bye, Freya. And now we have field advantage. We are top decking, but so are they. So we have field advantage. Okay. This forced fairy deck is finding its way. You won't have two turns if I'm lucky. And you won't have that many life points if I'm lucky. Because if you get near a power shot back, I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah, that works. I win. Unless you can hold me off for one turn, you're going to lose. My fairies are going in. go. And I just need to make sure they can't afford Neo Parshath. And if they do afford it, then I need to win by Magic Cylinder. But, let's just play it safe. The Sir Priest, come back to my hand. We did good. Just in case they get a Dark Hole or something. Something substantial. Alright, they are going to try and defend themselves. Fair enough. I draw. Shrink is interesting, but not necessary. I summon Sir Priest. Uh, it doesn't matter which one attacks, as long as we get a damage in there. Shit. I should have let Sir Priest do it. I didn't realize that would be the card. I should have assumed they would have a floater, but big mistake on my part. Unless they run into Shining Angels, then it's no longer a mistake. They didn't go for that, yeah. They have enough life points now to win me the duel. I appreciate that. Well, I had two ways of winning this duel, and I am going to stand by it. So, Magic Cylinder is the way we're going to win this duel, because they are getting premature, so unless they get a, a heavy storm, which is the reason why I kept Shrink in my hand. Alright, here we go. Premature Burial, get their life points nice and low to get back their boss monster. And their boss monster is going to die, or kill them, when they attack me. Yay! I attack you with Magic Cylinder. I can't believe we're winning this duel. Like, this deck is literally forced to use Fairy decks. Like, it is... It is not good. I have no... None of my good monsters in here. Just the most basic stuff possible. We're also the same attribute, apparently. How could this happen? Well, we don't... E why don't you ease up on me? 
Hey, look, I need to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Same as you. Uh, just checking around. Do I have to duel everybody to see if they have the card, maybe? A world protected by order and discipline. Now that would be a wonderful place. Look, you're a royal knight. I have a royal knight. Granted, I only used it for tribute, but it worked out in a very specific situation. Let's see how you get, how you do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go first, because going first is how you win duels. All right, give me my solemn judgment. Oh, transcended wings when I already have wing creeble level 10 in my hand. What an unlucky start. I am not joking when I say unlucky start. Okay, well, that sucks. Bad hand. This hand's basically a brick. That, that, I, you know what? I was not expecting that. Is he just a knight deck? He's not a fairy deck like everyone else? I appreciate that because that might mean it's a different deck at least and not the same deck I've been seeing over and over again. I wouldn't mind Obnoxious Celtic Guardian on my side. Fuck me, really? I really need to draw my Wing Karibo. It's 100% luck based, but it's like the only fairy I owned. Oh, we could try destroying his monster. I'm not worried about a single trap card. I should have been worried. Oh, maybe they'll pay for that trap card and then I can uh, take advantage of that. Alright, fair enough. I am my turn. Maybe you'll tribute summon. That'll help me in the end. Yeah, see, they'll pay for it. I appreciate that. Hey, it's getting better and better. Shit. That's not what I meant. That is legit not what I meant. Okay, wait a minute. Why do you have that? Oh, crap. That was not supposed to happen. Oh, Majestic Mech beats it, so let's let's just play it safe here. Alright, Majestic Mech, thank god I top-decked you. Um... A curiosity. Unaffected by the effect of your opponent's spell, so I can't creature swap. It says I can. If I could steal this, that would be great. Unaffected by the effects of your opponent's, if this card successfully attacks your opponent directly, please. Look, it says it's unaffected, so creature swap, what do you say? I don't know. I really don't know how that works. But we might as well test it. It shouldn't work. But if it works, okay, it just doesn't work. I, I was just curious. I was just curious, like maybe there's a loophole or something. You never know. Yu-Gi-Oh's full of those. It's like, oh, well, that one's not technically affecting the monster. Your, your opponent just throws it at you. All right. Well, sadly, that means I have to have nothing. My hand remains nothing. I, I need to draw Wing Karibo already. Never mind. This is not... My opponent is also Brick. Welcome to my world. Oh, not a bad draw. Sadly, my opponent has, you know, freaking wall up and who, uh, who knows what else they have on the field. Oh, come on. Mirror Wall and Mirror Force on the same field? That's just cruel. I lost one of my safest cards to a dumb Mirror Force. But it looks like my opponent's not doing much better. So we both drew our brickiest hands possible. This is only for emergencies. I should not have to use this card. Okay. Yeah, it's a straight-up warrior deck. Okay. Did not see that one coming. Yep, okay, so this game I just happened to get, like, all the other times I had exactly the hand you'd expect. But this is the one where I get the worst. And every other time I did also just draw bad hands. Like, I, I drew improper cards and stuff. So I could take 17. 17 is not a big deal. 19. Ah, oh, shit, it's a little more. Eh, 19 is not a big deal. That's fine. I'll be fine. I'll just draw a monster. Switch. But fuck you, game, really. All right, the game's being a little rude to me. It's definitely not letting me play. Um, I will figure this out. I will try to figure this out. I can't even imagine what's going on. Now, granted, I know I don't have that many fairies, but every other duel I drew them. So where are they? Okay. What are the odds that this one dies too? Let's find out. I'm going to attack for 14. Okay, so that's your whole deck idea. Hmm. God says no. I'm, look, I'm just tired of it. I just want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! already. This guy has literally been anti-Yu-Gi-Oh! 
When I give stats to characters, I have a stat called Destruction. This this character would fall under the Destruction stat. So as long as my opponent doesn't have a... Well, actually, with the A-Forces, I probably lost the duel. If they draw any beater monster, I basically lost. So, yep, this trap needs to matter. We'll see what happens. Near wall. Oh, you couldn't pay for it or you just didn't want to? I'm back to 14 now. Okay, weird plays by my opponent. Definitely not recommended plays. Um, again, I'm still bricked. Thank God I drew this Shining Angel and protected it with my Solemn Judgment. I don't want to duel this guy. This school, this guy has a very annoying deck. I'm just glad that he bricked monster-wise. I'm guessing he runs a lot of tributes, or maybe he summons himself. Who knows? Obnoxious. Uh, you would be you would be trading for that. I would not recommend... Oh, no, you have the field spell. I forgot. Um, am I going to have any other opportunity to Magic Cylinder? The answer should be yes, but I don't know if it actually would be. You know what? Draw that card again. I have a better idea. Let me get you a little lower in life points. I'm not going for my Tribute Monster. And it's like, Bakuber, why would you even think about going for Wing Kariba? Well, screw you. Maybe I want to summon it just because it's cool. That is the only reason why. All right, we're going to summon this. Now that Obnoxious Celtic Guardian is not so scary. Uh, I could have won if I had just gone for the other card, Magic Cylinder. Well, we have no idea what my opponent's using, so... I was too scared to use it. All right, well, game... If they go after my Shining Angel, I win. If they don't go after it, I win still. All right, I'm not just Celtic Guardian. Come after my Shining Angel. I do not care. I want you to attack me. That's all I'm asking for. And it's a win-win situation. The timing of Magic Cylinder did not matter in this case. But mostly you should have... I should have just used it on the first try. I just wanted him to draw Obnoxious again, but... Hey, we won the duel. was not the easiest duel in the world, but we won it, and I'm happy about that. You know, using a limited deck actually is getting me some stuff, so that's that's the good news. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go shopping, because uh, we've earned it. <laughs> if I'm going to have to use crap cards, I better buy some more. All right, let's see. This new pack has been very cool lately. This new pack, this new pack, and I can only afford a little bit more. Let's try... Let's try... I don't know. I guess the Barrel Dragon Pack, why not? Yeah, let's try the Barrel Dragon Pack. Could be some cool stuff in here, who knows? Beta, that card. Yep, Rock or Grotto, Machine Duplication, no, nothing good. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's try again. Or Steel or Grotto. Uh, Mudball Man, you gotta love him. You gotta love him. You got anything better than that, though? Like, let's be real, I want something good. Yeah! See, that is a god tier card, but I already own one. I just can't use it in this deck because it's not a fairy. In 2006, it was a warrior, which was crazy. Oh my god, that's great! That is a great card. We don't have any monster to use it with. Well, actually, Gatling Dragon. Holy crap, that's a great card. I am very happy. I need Car Trooper in my deck now. If I want to make a deck with Overload Fusion, Card Trooper would help a lot. Also, Revival cards would be nice. I just don't own any. Where's my Call of the Haunted? Where's my... Oh, Dogma! Whoa, hello there. That's a pretty nice Destiny Hero card. Hard to summon, but damn, is it good. Uh, Jerry's there. Malicious, that helps with summoning Dogma, funny enough. You just gotta draw three of them. Yeah. Or it's probably limited to two in this game. Semi-limited. Oh, Doomdozer! Insect Deck Beast! That's a great card, and King Dragoon is also pretty nice. Works well with the cards we're drawing. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll re-enter Graceland, and we'll just duel around and, you know, try to figure out where that Nova Summoner is. And, uh, yeah, bye bye